Hi everybody, welcome back. So it's kind of that time of year and it's getting really cold outside and I swear to God a few days ago it rained, uh, rained, like that's a big deal, I meant snowed and um, yeah so it's just it's starting to snow and winter's coming so I figured why not, duh, make a winter nail inspired tutorial and I actually got a bunch of requests for for these for like seasonal tutorials so uh, here we go so I'm gonna start just by painting all my nails in this uh, spearmint color from Sally Hansen here goes okay so here we go I have a nice spearmint color on my nails I actually love this green I wear it all the time what I'm gonna do is I'm going to use my white nail art to make a snowflake. Now, if you don't have an Art Deco brush like this, which has like the very, very, um, here I'll show you. It has the very, very, very fine tip. It's what they use in salons to make designs. If you don't have that, you can just use a fine, long paintbrush. That'll work too. Um, but yeah, so you can use a white because snowflakes are white and uh, silver just to you know touch it up afterwards. So we're gonna start on your thumb. What you're gonna do is you're actually going to make. Um, it's gonna look kind of like a a stick star to start with and then you're gonna add in the snowflake details so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go down straight line and just get a little more nail polish on my brush and go over that line one more time and then you're gonna go across in the middle all the way across straight line and then you're gonna go crisscross. And you're gonna make the crisscross lines ever so slightly shorter than the lines of the main cross, okay? So I'm just gonna go from here, across like that, and then from here, across like that. So it looks like a star right now, like a weird stick star, okay? Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna use the same brush and the same white to add little accents to each of these, I guess you could say branches of the star. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna make almost four added branches on your main ones. So I'm gonna go one, two, and if I can angle my brush in a comfortable way, three, four. So they're almost like little branches off, if you can see that. They're like little V's, okay? And I'm gonna do that on the rest of them. And what I'm doing is just for the smaller branches, I'm just making smaller lines and kind of tighter together so that they don't cross over the other lines. So there we go, I have a snowflake on one finger and I'm just gonna do the exact same thing on my ring finger now. Okay, so there we go, now I have a snowflake on this finger too and what I did was I just made all the lines smaller than what I did on my thumb because I have less finger to work with. So there we go, snowflake on two fingers. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take that white and I'm gonna make a very thin white strip on the remainder of my fingers. Now you don't have to do this if you don't want to, I'm just doing it to kind of make a continuity of design, okay? But uh, so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna make that little thin, it's a thin French tip. So it's not a French tip like, um, like I usually do in my tutorials. It's not the same as for the French tip tutorial. I'm actually gonna use this instead of, um, instead of a nail polish brush. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go just on the tip around like that. So it's like a super thin French tip like that. Okay, so now you're done with the white and you're gonna start adding accents in the silver. So see now I have like cute little lines and just my two snowflakes. So I'm just gonna add the silver now. You're just gonna add accents to all the nails. So I don't want a lot of silver because I don't want it to overpower the white. I just want it to be like a little bit of glitter on my snowflakes. So I'm just gonna go over the main lines, the main veins. So down, across, and then in an X. And what that does is that makes it a little more sparkly. I don't know if you can see the details, but it looks really good up close. And if you don't have glitter like this and you just have like actual glitter, what you can do is you can put a top coat on 
and then sprinkle glitter, let it dry, and then put another layer of top coat. That works well too. So I'm gonna do the same thing on the other snowflake, just criss, cross, and X. And then on the rest of my fingers, I'm just gonna put a little glitter on the white lines. There we go, and there's your finished winter nail art design. Okay, once it dries, just put on a top coat and enjoy. Comment below, subscribe above. Be sure to tell me what you thought, okay? And enjoy winter, make winter fun. Go out, enjoy the snow, do some sports. I love skiing, so I'll be skiing this year for sure. And just have fun with it, okay? Bye.